Hey guys, I want to shoot a quick video and talk about hooking up these HBS 860H hybrid, hybrid stepper drives with the Centroid CNC 12 software. Um, so recently, this was something I meant to get around to, but I just never did. Um, these drives have, let's see if I can get a shot where I can read this. These drives have under under the Ignal output, <laughs> I'm sure that's supposed to say signal, but under the signal output, there's alarm and pending. And there's been some questions about how to hook these up. And I kind of put off doing this because I wasn't quite sure how to do it. But I think I have an answer. And uh, this is a great time for me to mention the fact that uh, if you have not looked at Marty's CNC Garage, that is a YouTube channel, Marty's CNC Garage. Marty has lots of really, really good videos on the Centroid Acorn, how to hook things up to it, how to uh, make it work. So I watched one of Marty's videos where he hooked up a uh, closed loop drive, and that was very helpful. So, so thank you, Marty, for making those videos. So here's, here's the scoop. Pending is just an output that it, it's like a way for the, uh, the driver to tell the control that, hey, I'm, I haven't quite got to my position yet, but I will, but I'm, I'm not there yet. Uh, that, that output really doesn't have any use here for what you're gonna do with the acorn. So you can forget about pending. Alarm, that does have uh, some bearing. So the alarm output will uh, trigger if the something goes wrong. So if the uh, you know the driver it can't hit its position, like let's say it you know your it stalls the motor stalls out or you hit a hard stop, it can't turn anymore. Just for whatever reason, the driver is determined that there's a problem with controlling the motor and it, it had to stop. It's going to use this alarm output. So. That's really handy because if, if for some reason one of your axes stalls out or chokes out or something doesn't work, you don't want the machine to keep running and you know crash and bang and rip stuff up. So fortunately, you can use this output, this alarm output, to tell the CNC12 software to, to stop doing its thing. This output, as far as I can tell, uh, ships from, from the factory as a normally open connection. So that means if the drive is happy and everything's good, uh, alarm minus and alarm positive are open. So the switch is open, so to speak. If something goes haywire and it's unhappy, then uh, alarm minus or alarm plus and minus close. So you can imagine the switch closes. So when everything's good, it's open. If there's an issue, it closes. Um, now it's possible if you have the programming cable that plugs in here to this little jack and you have the software which I uh, talk about all that on one of my other videos on this drive. If you have those things you can change, you can invert the logic of this output, you can make it normally closed and the nice thing about that is I, I think normally closed is probably a like a safer way to wire up switches and peripherals and things like that to the acorn. Uh, and then you can follow the documentation. What, you know, there's, I forget which schematic it is, but there's some schematics that come, you know, uh, that you can get off the, the Centroid website. And you can follow their schematic. And basically what they do is they pigtail, uh, they wire up all these alarm outputs for all your drives in series. So all your axis drives and your, your spindle drive and all this stuff, you can wire all these alarm, alarm things into one series circuit if they're normally closed. And then you can tell the acorn, right, when everything's good, this input's normally closed. So what, what that means is, you know, everything's happy, all these drives are closed. If any one of them breaks the chain, you know, it could be an axis drive or a spindle motor or whatever, spindle drive. If any one of them breaks that uh, series circuit, it'll trigger the alarm in the centroid software and stop everything. Now here's the catch. If you don't have the the programming cable and you don't have the software, you're not going to be able to change that. And if you're like me and you've already mounted all your stuff 
into your control box in such a manner where you physically don't have room. <laughs> I, I physically don't have room to get to the side of these drives anymore to reprogram them. So you need a different solution. Uh, so I'll show you what I did and uh, it seems to work. Basically, instead of wiring these things up in, in series, I wired it up in parallel. So I have, you know, a connection from each, each drive. I have all of the alarm minus going to a, one of the available common uh, screw down terminals on the Acorn board. And I have all the alarm positive connections all pigtailed together and I have them on input too. So basically I just have all these things wired in parallel. So if any one of these uh, will just let me, you know, I like to think of it as a switch. If the little switch inside of any of these drives, uh, which is normally open when it's happy, if any of these drives alarm out, that switch will close and then it will, it will trigger input number two and the software will, will bomb out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simulate an alarm and I am going to do that by very carefully pulling the encoder cable off of my x-axis drive. So there we go. I just disconnected the encoder from x-axis and what will happen when I do that, so I can move Y. Y is good. I can move Z. Watch what happens when I move X. Let's see here if I can focus on that. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm working by myself here. So here we go. We're going to move X. See, we get an alarm. The little red light flashed. And it just told CNC 12 that there's a problem. And here it is. It says drive fault. And now, no matter what I do, I can't move any of my axes because CNC 12 knows there was a problem. It knows things went, went haywire and it's not happy. Now, I can press reset right now and clear that alarm. And now I can move... I can move my axes again. I can move Y. I can move Z. But guess what happens when I go to try to move X again? Boom. Drive fault. So, so that's good. That's a good safety measure. So I'll, I, think, um, I think that kind of demonstrates how this functions. Let me uh, show you the CNC wizard screen, how I configured that. All right. This is screen number one, primary system configuration. And I used input two. And input two is set to drive OK. And I made that a normally open connection. So, you know, like we said, normally closed is preferable. It's probably a safer way to hook things up. But, you know, given the circumstances, I'm going to use normally open because that's better than nothing. And that's it. And that is all it takes to make this work. So once again, one of the things I really like about the CNC 12 package is in my opinion, it is like way easier to configure than uh, many other PC based cam packages. I really like it. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day and please be safe.